angle, Watch decreasing. Point seven up the velocity. Airbank three, three four, four, four hundred, limiting three nine one zero. Not be from impact. Clear on top sounders. Impact. Imagine a four billion dollar U.S. nuclear submarine, one of the most advanced machines on Earth, lurking deep beneath the ocean. It's silent, invisible, and undetectable. But what happens when this underwater titan needs to surface? How does it rise from the darkest depths, unseen, without alerting enemies? Today, we're diving into the fascinating process of how a nuclear submarine emerges from the depths, maintaining stealth the entire time. Welcome back to the channel, where we explore the incredible feats of engineering that dominate our oceans and skies. The US Navy's nuclear submarines are technological marvels, designed to operate unseen in the most hostile environments on Earth. These gigantic submarines, some stretching longer than a football field, patrol the deep ocean, armed, silent, and ready. But moving from stealthy depths to the surface isn't as simple as pushing a button. It's an intricate process that takes precision, planning, and a deep understanding of ocean physics. Let's break down how it's done. Submarines operate in an environment where pressure, stealth, and navigation are key. At stealth depth, typically hundreds of meters below the surface, a submarine is almost impossible to detect. Here, the ocean's pressure is immense and sunlight is non-existent, but this depth provides the perfect cover for the submarine's primary mission, to remain hidden. While at depth, Submarines maintain negative buoyancy by filling ballast tanks with seawater. These ballast tanks are key to controlling whether the sub stays submerged or begins to rise. But there's more to it than just filling and emptying tanks. This process has to be perfectly timed to maintain stealth. When the order comes to the surface, everything begins with the ballast system. Submarines use ballast tanks filled with water to stay heavy and submerged. To surface, the crew releases highly compressed air into the tanks, forcing the water out. This increases buoyancy, making the submarine lighter and causing it to rise. But it's not as simple as inflating a balloon. Timing is everything. The crew doesn't want the submarine to surface too fast, creating noise or a wake that could be detected by enemy sonar. Nor do they want to ascend too slowly, risking detection through underwater sound signatures. The key is to rise smoothly, quietly, and controlled. But there's more. As the submarine begins its ascent, the crew carefully angles the submarine's planes, horizontal fins located along the body of the sub. These planes adjust the angle of the submarine, controlling how fast or slow it rises. The goal is a steady, controlled ascent like a giant leviathan gliding through the deep without a sound. Seven zero feet. Ten degree up angle, Watch decreasing. Point seven, upper velocity. Airbank three, three four, four hundred, oh, limiting three nine one zero. Five feet from impact, clear on top sounders. Impact. Four one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, shot. Before fully surfacing, the submarine first reaches periscope depth, about 18 to 20 meters below the surface. This is where things get even more interesting. At this depth, the sub's crew can raise the periscope or sensors to scan the horizon, looking for ships, aircraft, or other threats. It's the sub's eyes in the sky. But even here, they need to stay stealthy. The periscope mast is only raised for brief moments, and the sub maintains minimal speed to avoid creating disturbances in the water. Too much wake at periscope depth can leave a visible trail, which is the last thing you want when you're in enemy waters. Once the crew determines the coast is clear, it's time for the final ascent. The submarine quietly pushes from periscope depth to the surface, maintaining its stealth throughout the process. Any sudden movements could betray its presence. So the ascent must be smooth, calculated, and nearly silent. It's like an art form surfacing without making a splash. But surfacing a massive machine like a nuclear submarine isn't just about reaching the top. The crew also has to ensure that once surfaced, 
They're ready for anything, whether it's launching a missile, evacuating a crew member, or simply breathing fresh air. This entire process is vital for the submarine's survival. Nuclear submarines often operate in dangerous waters where detection by enemy forces could mean disaster. Surfacing is one of the riskiest moments in a submarine's operation. The slightest mistake can give away their position, putting the vessel and its mission in jeopardy. That's why the technology and training behind this maneuver are so advanced. Everything is fine-tuned to make the ascent as stealthy as possible. It's not just about going from the deep to the surface. It's about doing it without anyone knowing. So next time you see a submarine surfacing in a movie or documentary, remember, it's not just a casual rise to the surface. It's the result of precise engineering, expert crew coordination, and high-tech systems designed to keep the submarine invisible, even when it's breaking the surface. These $4 billion machines are built to operate in the darkest, most dangerous parts of the ocean. And their ability to surface quietly is what makes them such formidable weapons. Whether they're on a covert mission or simply returning to port, surfacing a nuclear submarine is a delicate, complex operation that remains one of the most impressive feats of modern engineering. Thanks for watching. If you're fascinated by the hidden world of submarines and naval operations, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the mysteries of the ocean and beyond. Stay tuned for more incredible insights, and as always, stay curious.